right? The first thing I would do is start watching Michael Saylor videos or Michael Saylor tweets or just even looking at photos of him from Bitcoin Miami, which I, I wish I had been at, okay? Michael Saylor's average price is 30K. So he didn't care. He was buying at 28 and he's going to view any move to 24 or even if you get it lower, he's going to view that as a good thing. So it's ironic. I think if you're long at 60, I mean, he bought a bunch at 48, 60, you know, people who bought at 60 have to think 100. You have to say to yourself, even though no one would dare say it on YouTube, they, they talked more about it two years ago, is start talking about 80 or 100, right? Now, in terms of somebody who's bored now, here's the advice. Forget about Pepe, right? Everybody is trying to repeat Pepe. That is a once-in-a-cycle phenomenon. I got to forget about Pepe. I got a co-host, another analyst. She said, Pepe, Pepe, Pepe. I was like, yeah, this chart looks really good. It looks really good. And I didn't do it. Forget about it. Forget about it. What you want to do is stay focused on, you know, the GAN work shows things can expand. The GAN work also shows, you know, crises are coming, particularly for the United States. Other work that I have shows the debt ceiling is not the crisis. The debt ceiling starts a problem, either with our bond market or interest rates. And then work, I, I literally just recorded it this morning. Crypto is going to be the solution, right? Don't focus on the problem that it's not moving. Focus on the fact that the solution is going to be crypto when this problem reveals itself. Now, no one's going to not think about Pepe, so let me give it to you a different way. Investment banks are saying that two, 2023 is the same as 2008, except 2023 things move slower. I agree things seem slow now, but when this problem surfaces, you know, maybe September or August, and then definitely October, November, oh my God, this is going to move so fast because remember, when legacy comes to crypto, to them, Bitcoin is Pepe, right? And when they all come all at once, I mean, you can read all kinds of statistics. There's a million Bitcoin addresses. There's no liquidity on exchanges, none. So when they come, it's the go. And if you fall asleep, you know, if you miss Pepe, it's forgivable. It was a meme coin, right? If you miss a potential move to 100K in Bitcoin, especially if that happens in like a 2017 type of way, you'll never forgive yourself. So, you know, I'm like, oh my God, I got to buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the answer. And I'm like, all right, just try and wait until the sell in May or, or the, you know, the June bumps come along with interest rates. Waiting is impossible, particularly when you know that's what's going to happen, right? We know bonds are going down. We know the U.S. is in trouble. We know there are going to be more bank failures. Bank stocks are text flying and bank stocks are down as we speak. So hard to wait when you know it's coming. But that's what you had to do in 2008. Like the best advice I can give you is I've seen this before. I've seen everybody have to hurry up and wait. And then the trade comes along and everybody, including George Soros, they got stopped out because their positions were too big. And then it happened.